Hi guys, time for another build tonight. I am going through the range of the Airfix quick builds. And before me, I have a Messerschmitt 109. Uh, quick build, no glue, no paint, just build. And I like to say no mess, no fuss, and you get a model. Okay, lovely box design. The number for the box is... Uh, there it is there. I always, always miss it, don't I? It's the J6001 Quick Build Messerschmitt 109. They're actually called the BF 109, okay? It's a German World War II fighter, and this is going to be basically an unboxing, a build, and a review. Okay, a little bit of history about the Messerschmitt. It's actually a BF 109, is it? Which is a German World War II fighter aircraft. And that plane with the Fokker Wolf FW190 became the backbone of the Luwafa's fighter force. Okay, the 109 first saw operational service not in the war. It was actually in 1937 during the Spanish Civil War. And it was still in service at the dawn of the jet age at the end of World War II, roughly around 1945, 1946. It was one of the most advanced fighters of the era, including such features as um, uh, a monocoque construction, all metal, okay. It has a closed canopy, right, and uh, it did have a retractable landing gear. It was originally uh, designed by Willie Messerschmitt and Robert Lusser, and they both worked at the, is it the Bayerische Flugzeugwerke? I think that's how you say it, during the mid-1930s. Well, really the early 1930s when this was properly conceived, because they wanted an interceptor um, in the Luftwaffe, okay? But then um, the later models were developed to be like a multiple task serving as a bomber escort fighter bomber for day and night bombing raids or weather fighter ground attack aircraft and even a reconnaissance aircraft it was supplied to several states during world war ii and served with many countries for many years after the war this um, bf 109 is the most popular fighter aircraft in history with a total of over 33,000, I think it was more close to 30, I think 34,000 airframes were produced between 1936 to 1945. And I believe it even stayed in the Spanish um, Air Force until about the 1960s. Okay, so turning the box over, it obviously has stats on the back of the box. It, it was, uh, it had, oh, it was powered by the Daimler-Benz DB601 which was a German aircraft engine, and that was built and designed during World War II. The engine itself was liquid-cooled, inverted. That means it was upside down in, in the plane uh, as a V-12, okay? And it powered um, the 109, the BF-110, and all sorts of other planes. Um, I think it was about 19,000 of these 601s were produced before it was replaced by this new improved uh, Daimler-Benz DB605, roughly around 1942. But mostly this plane was using the DB601A inverted V12, okay? Uh, from the end of 1941, the the uh, the BF109 was supplemented by the, the, um, the Fokker Wolf FW190, and it was commonly called the ME109 by like the Allied crewmen and among the German aces, even though it was not that was not its official designation. Okay, so it had one pilot. The the length of it was eight point six three meters. Uh, the width of it, wingspan was nine point eight five meters. It weighed just under two ton, one thousand nine hundred kilograms. The top speed using that DB601 was 560 kilometers an hour. Exploded view on the back, okay. We shall open up the box and have a look inside. This is a nice fresh box, because this you know, only came the other day from Amazon. Let's open up the box. And obviously inside you're gonna get the same old bump. You're gonna get a bag full of bits. Oh, look at them, some stickers. So there's... Uh, it looks like 
um, four big crosses, two small ones, and the number 12, which is there. And hopefully inside, if I pull it out, we have some instructions. The instructions are quite good with these sets. Remember, they're for, you know, for a youngster to do, but you may find that they, these make a really good stocking filler or a present to a friend who's into his World War II. Um, this one here has got 36 pieces, so there's quite a bit to, to do on this kit. We'll open up the instructions, and uh, oh, look at that. It's got the, the, they do the four planes. They also do a red arrow plane as well, which I've got coming in a later video. So the instructions, uh, there's 34 stages to build in this. Um, you start off building all the inside for the fuselage, putting it all together and all the sides and you put the tail on. Obviously, then you've got the, the, the wheels. Now, with this one here, I'm just looking. Is it like the Spitfire? We have to turn the wings around. No, it looks like the wings are all done from the top end. So once you've put the um, the wings in, you put the the, 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 the wheels in and, and you just build up the wing from from being the face down sort of thing so you're doing the top level all the way through and then finally the bits of the cockpit and the um where the engine goes sorry put the tail and the fuselage together then you've got the propeller engine top then put on the um cockpit wing a uh, window which is all blacked out anyway and then the bomb and then you can put it on a stand so have a quick look inside i need my roasting tin right family roasting tin so let's open up the box with my knife just just slice that through there there we go in the bin roasting tin out let's put all the pieces in fantastic so we, there we are as the stand oh the cockpit is um more transparent than the normal ones normally they're, they're all black so there's the wing sections propeller one part of the stand there's the second part of the stand let's just push them together nicely done it's quite as i said it can be a little bit fiddly and uh, that goes in there ready so that's the stand all done there's some wings a little piece there for the propeller yeah looking really good right let's get ready to build if you want to see this being built slowly okay there is a settings cog in the bottom corner of youtube where you can change how fast or how slow you watch the video okay so click that down to like a 0.5 or 0.25 and you'll be able to see this being built slowly okay so there's all the instructions you need Let's get this all together and let's build this. See you after the time lapse. finished model it was pretty simple to put together there were some bits that kind of confused me by looking at the drawings or the you know the instructions on how to do this but it was pretty simple i enjoyed doing it as well um some of the things that are nice are the way that the the plastic is molded in nicely to the to the to the tail and um to the fuselage itself you know the camo there is actually separate pieces of plastic um it looks good there's some bits where i had to really push hard to get them to click in there's the wheels underneath the stickers went on really well um and yeah it is a it's a really good model you know for what you pay for it let me just um adjust this sticker this one's annoying me a little bit there you go let's get that in there nice so yeah it is a top model um for the messerschmitt 109 i think um there's two options you can either have it on the stand where you can adjust the stand on how it flies or you can take this off and put the little black thing in underneath like so 
and then this uh, bomb goes in there's like a little cutaway on the bomb so you can actually have it so that it's got a bomb and fly it around so you can spin it and fly it around there you go i can't do the noise of an engine really but yeah a really good build um definitely an eight out of ten for me um really good for children it's it is a little bit complex you know the the, the thing about these drawings is that you have to really look into how it's all put together it doesn't look quite right but when you snap them together it, there's a reason why there's different levels you know there was bits here that was a little bit sticky outy but when you put all the um the camouflage pieces on they all fit together nicely um one little bit which you might see in the slow-mo is that that is a catch there you've got to fit it in just gently inside there else it will just flick off the um the propeller okay so yeah a really good build thoroughly enjoyed it Please, please, if you can, subscribe to this channel if you're not already a subscriber. At least give it a like if you are. If you want to discuss this model or would want um, um, anything you need to ask about it, please put it in the comments down below. And uh, hopefully I will see you next time for another quick build model. Cheers.